five game winning streak snap tonight. What do you attribute uh, the, the loss to? I think, um, you know, as a team, we just weren't locked in from the jump. I mean, from the jump we were, went up 10-0, and then we kind of, you know, let our defense relax. They were getting offensive rebounds, and they just started playing harder than us. And then we just really started to fall apart. So um, just a bad night all around. We got to bounce back next game. We'll be all right. Nick Lombardi. Mike, uh, any silver lining in the fact that, listen, man, you only – played five minutes because of foul trouble, but you came back and played your best basketball late. Is that a growing moment for you? I mean, you know, we lost by 20. So was it 20? Whatever we lost by, we lost. So I don't really view that as whatever, you know, I just tried to keep the energy high. You know, games like that is really easy to just roll over. And um, those 20 points can turn into 30 points, but you know, good teams, play hard till the end. So no matter how bad it was going, I just tried to keep my energy high uh, till, the, till the buzzer, so. Ryan Blackburn. Mike, I think the foul trouble that, that you got into sort of disrupted things. Uh, is there anything that you can learn uh, from, from that experience of just, just staying out of foul trouble and the ways that those fouls were picked up? Yeah, I mean, you know, those fouls were kind of ticky tag at the beginning, like, especially when I get my first one, really try, you know, to play without my hands um, and not get that second one, especially early. And then that third one, you know, I thought I was going for a loose ball, but so, you know, like to help my team, I just got to be smart. And if I get my first one, I just got to be really uh, cognizant of that and careful so I can stay in the game and help my team. Brendan Voigt. Hey, man, another one on your, your fourth quarter there. It was a weird night for you guys offensively, maybe not the flow you guys are used to having. Was your mindset in the fourth, I'll just get some shots up here. Let me see if I can make something happen in, in what might be considered a loss game. Not really. I think I took pretty good shots. Uh, my teammates, you know, those, those threes that I hit, they were like a lot of them were out of bounds, play calls, and we executed, and I got open threes. Um, and other than, that, other than that, I got fouled a few times. And it just, yeah, it wasn't me hunting for shots. David Chinolato. Hey, Michael. Um, you guys had won the previous five games uh, before this loss. Uh, what do you guys need to do to get back to, you know, beat the team who won the previous five instead of uh, whatever went wrong tonight? Monte would say it was him. Missing, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, you know, it's just one game. We're going to bounce back. It was on the second night of a back to back. Um, you know, so we'll bounce, we'll bounce right back up. There was a lot of weird lineups just because guys are back healthy. So, you know, we just got to get the chemistry back with those guys. And it's just one game. We'll be good. Mike Singer. Like um, Malone was just telling us kind of about the COVID testing and how exhausting it is. He says three times a day yesterday in Memphis, three times a day today. Um, from a player's perspective, is it exhausting? Does it wear on you? Is it tiresome to, to continually have to test every single day multiple times? I mean, of course it is. No one wants to, you know, get back in the morning, get back to their house at 2 a.m. Then uh, it takes a while to go to sleep and I have to wake up at 8 o'clock to go test. Um, so that's hard for, for guys. Um, but, you know, this is our job. So no excuses. We're not doing anything that other teams aren't doing. You know what I'm saying? So we can't make that an excuse.